Now we've looked at square roots before, perfect, perfect squares. So for instance, we know that if the square root of 16 is exactly 4, because 4 times 4 is 16. So remember, when we're looking for a square root, we're trying to find what number, when we multiply it by itself, gives us 16 in this case. So we know that since 16 is a perfect square, that the square root of 16 is exactly 4. And I know that the square root of 25 is exactly 5, because 5 times 5 is 25. So those are perfect squares. We know exactly what those numbers are. And the next one here would, of course, be the square root of 36, which is exactly 6. 36 is a perfect square, because when I square root it, I get the number 6. But what if I said, well, what is the square root of 18? Now, one thing we could do is we could go to a calculator, and we could go and look it up and get the square root of 16, or sorry, the square root of 18 to be 4.24, so on. So a calculator will find us what that is approximately um, to uh, a bunch of decimal places. But we should be able to get a pretty good idea of what square root of 18 would be without a calculator. So here's what we know. We know that the square root of 16 is 4, and we know that the square root of 25 is 5. So 18, what's the square root of 18? 18 fits somewhere between 16 and 25. And I would say that the square root of 18 is a lot closer to 16 than it would be to 25. So if I was estimating the square root of 18, I would say it's going to be somewhere a little bit bigger than 4. It's definitely not right in the middle, um, but I might guess it to be about 4.2 because the square root of 16 is 4 and the square root of 25 is 5 so I know the answer is going to be between 4 and 5 and since 18 is closer to 16 than it is to 25 then I might say 4.2 as a guess. How about we take a look at the square root of 12. The square root of 12 is not a perfect square. You can't find some whole number multiplied by itself that is 12. But I could find a perfect square to the left of it. And I could try to find a perfect square to the right of it. So sometimes it's not a bad idea to just list your perfect squares. So they are 1, because 1 times 1 is 1. 4, 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 6 is 36. 7 times 7 is 49. 8 times... Oh, no, sorry, what are we... 7 times 7 is 49, 8 times 8 is 64, 9 times 9 is 81, 10 times 10 is 100. And so these are our perfect squares. And when we take the square root of these numbers, we get 1. Square root of 4, 2. Square root of 9, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Square root of 100 is 10. Not a bad idea to have a little chart when we're estimating square roots. So where would root 12 fit? Uh, it looks like it would fit right in here somewhere, somewhere between root 9 and root 16. So I know that the square root of 12 is going to be something between 3 and 4, because the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 16 is 4, so root 12 is going to be somewhere in between. Now, we just have to make a, a close guess as to where it fits. Is it close to 9? In which case, then, the answer would be close to 3. Or is 12 close to 16, in which case the answer would be close to 4? Or does it fit somewhere right in the middle? And I think when you look at it, you can see that 12 is pretty close to the middle. Um, 12 is only 3 more than 9, and 16 is actually 4 more than 12. So I'm going to take a guess here and say that the square root of 12 is about 3 and a half, Somewhere right in the, about the middle. And if you want, you can just double check on a calculator. So what are we doing? We're we doing 12. The square root of 12, ah, 3.464, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, 3.5 is a pretty close estimate. You don't have to be bang on, but you should be you know, reasonably close within the tenth, tenth of, a, of a decimal. Let's try another number. 
Uh, how about we look at root 46? So where would 46 lie? 46 would lie between the square root of 36 and the square root of 49. Root 46 is in there somewhere. So I know my answer is going to be between 6 and 7. So now I just got to see whereabouts does it fit. Is it really close to 36? Is it really close to 49? Or is it somewhere in the middle? Well, 46 is going to be a little bit closer to 49 because it's only 3 off of 49, but it's 10 more than 36. So 46 is a lot closer to 49 than it is to 36. So I might take a guess and say it's going to be about 6.8. Just ballparking that, and we can go and double check uh, root 46. Let's see. Oh, not bad. 6.7. 7, 8. So you're you're not expected to get it bang on, but we should be pretty close within a tenth or uh, two tenths of, uh, of a decimal away from what the correct answer is. So that's how we estimate square roots.